internet has changed our lives dramatically. Not so long ago, we posted letters to stay in touch, went to our local bookshop to buy books, and to the bank or even post office to pay bills. But emerging digital technologies have changed all that, increasing speed and productivity in the workplace and at home. So far, Europe has been very successful in harnessing these new technologies. But it is a fast-moving industry and politicians are concerned that without new rules and policies, Europe will get left behind. The Industry Committee in Parliament has been looking at a report by Spanish EPP member Pilar del Castillo Vera on a new digital agenda for Europe, the 2015.eu agenda. She is calling for fundamental revision rather than incremental updates of existing legislation that is now simply out of date. We are calling for leading, you know, uh, from, from the European uh, institutions, so the Commission, which is really in the front of that, for leading uh, the, the, the possibilities for Europe to fully size all the opportunities of the digital uh, revolution, of the digital era. Information and communications technologies are widely held to be a core tool for increasing Europe's competitiveness in a global market. Public and private investment in ICT research should be fostered so that new technologies can be exploited to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, for example. The installation of smart meters in 50% of homes by 2015 to encourage responsible energy consumption is one of the targets suggested by Del Castillo in her report. She is proposing to double the EU's budget for ICT research and quadruple the budget for ICT take-up. The fifth freedom, access to fixed and mobile services and digital content, must be guaranteed and affordable for all Europeans, including those with disabilities, she says. At least 50% of houses should have access to high-speed internet by 2013, and 75% of mobile telephone contracts should be 3G or more advanced by 2015. This means increasing access to broadband networks across Europe, rethinking copyright and data protection rules, and finding effective ways to fight cybercrime. National governments should also be providing all public services online by 2015. Currently, fragmented rules across EU countries make it hard to buy and sell products and services across borders. A top priority is ensuring legislation is harmonised across the Member States to create an online internal market by 2015. So it is very important in any sector in, in the European Union, but specifically in this one of the digital uh, one, uh, which is uh, to have a full really full digital single market and we are now uh, quite uh, you know far from that for example you know that uh, only seven percent of all um, operations that consumer european consumer made uh, over the web are cross-border what are the risks if europe doesn't get it right the risks are tremendous we will uh, really be uh, leave, uh, you know, in a position in which uh, that will be very uh, difficult, very difficult to be competitive and uh, to really uh, grow and, uh, you know, to create employment and so, and so, and so. And at the end, what happens is that uh, the, the people are not able to get the prosperity that all of us, we so much uh, desire. Europe has made considerable progress in getting people online, providing broadband and digital services and the use of mobile phone technology. But its competitive edge has been challenged by the US and Asia, where wireless technologies and internet applications have come on by leaps and bounds. The 2015.EU agenda sets Europe back on track to be at the forefront of ICT innovation. To find out more about the group's policies in this area, visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching.